G'day, I'm going to talk to you today about the Crooks radiometer. It's a cunning little device with a carefully balanced black and silver uh, set of paddle wheels, black on one side, silver on the other, four of them in a near vacuum glass chamber. Invented by um, Crooks, uh, Crook um, about a hundred years ago and um, has been poorly explained in some of the standard science textbooks. The Crookes radiometer responds to strong light, so if I hold it in front of this light, the black side is pushing it forward. So you'll see the silver side coming towards and the um, black side receding away. So it seems to be absorbing strong light um, and the black side seems to be able to push the radiometer away. Now that doesn't just happen with light, but if I stop it, it also happens with um, the warmth of my hands. So if I warm up my if I warm up the bulb with my hands, and uh, then it's, it's continuing to do the same thing as a result of just the warmth of my hands. So it's happening as a result of heat rather than light. The black side is hotter. One explanation is that the small amount of gas that's inside the bulb hits the black side and hits the silver side, but the black side being hotter gives more of a kick to that air and that air therefore imparts a bigger kick back and we get a momentum being delivered to the black side greater than the silver side. So the black side pushes away from the air that's being pushed off it. Um, Einstein added to this explanation by think, talking about air moving from one side, from the back side to, sorry, from the front side to the back side of, it, of the, um, um, the little paddle. But suffice to say that the air's um, that there's a pressure difference caused by moving air, and that the that pressure difference will be greater on the side that's hotter. And it makes sense that when it's put in strong light, it's the black side that gets hotter, not the silver side. So the black side pushes it away. It doesn't matter whether it's strong light or my hands making it warmer. What's pretty cool is if we is if we cool our hands down with a bit of ice, okay, and um, uh, make my hands very, very cold, or stick it into a freezer, then the opposite's gonna happen. Black body radiation happens better from a black surface than a silver surface. So the black side is going to cool faster um, when there's no, um, incoming radiation and in fact when the surface when the bulb is cooled down by my cold hands so my cold hands going onto the radiometer cause the silver side to be pushing it around which is what it's doing there the silver side is doing the pushing because the silver side hasn't lost as much heat as the black side has to the glass. I've cooled the glass and so those fans are pushing silver side first. So it's, it's all about heat being lost or gained because of the surface being a black body or a white body.